What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today I'll be working on the cold side. Basically got all the intercooler piping. Um, wow, this thing's really light. <laughs> Must be really thin. So I'm kind of all over the car right now, you know, between jumping the exhaust, then back to the intercooler, then the power steering, now back to the intercooler. So bear with me in here a little bit. Um, all that's happening is I'm basically buying parts and they're not showing up on time or I buy parts and it's the wrong part like with the power steering I bought all the AN fittings and lines and everything come to find out that there is a specific AN lines just for power steering so what that basically means is I gotta reorder all the AN fittings again and the AN line which kinda takes some time and I ordered two Bonjo fittings because the one I ordered it's also for I guess fuel lines um yeah now i do have a lot of leftover aluminum parts from my last build but i feel like i'll be short on the bend uh, especially since i'm gonna go from here and kind of wrap around and come back out and then a little bit of uh, bend right here so i didn't want to run short i think i could have probably made this work if i was really trying to, to make whatever i have here work but it's kind of nice to have some extra bends and I know it's not going to go to waste because most of the time when I buy something like this it just kind of gets left behind like this part right here and it'll eventually get used up in the next project now I typically don't like my coupler in blue I either go with red or black in this case I'm going all black um, I got this in blue because I couldn't get any or I couldn't find any black ones in 3.75 that transition into a 3 inch um, coupler here now, everywhere I looked, they were out of stock. Even the on tree performance site, I uh, actually ordered it and I got a call about it being in back ordered for I think almost like two months. I also have a red one. Let's see. This was a, like a leftover one. I bought it four inch before, four to four. I was planning to go four. This is for a different build, by the way. Um, come to find out that this one is not exactly four inch, it's slightly smaller. I think it's like 3.9 or something like that. Alright, so here's what I'm kind of thinking. This is a bit excessive. I mean, preferably, if I had the space, I do want as much straight piping into the throttle body. Uh, but because it's kind of a tight space in the area here, um, and not really knowing how much clearance I would need in the bottom, I'm going to go ahead and trim this out about this much. Alright, so with this thing basically shortened, let's go ahead and put that in place. Alright. So, still a little bit tight. I think I might end up having to trim this side right here. Alright, so in the back end here, the throttle body extends to about right here. I can't really I can't get any more uh, closer than that. So when I picked this up earlier, I thought it was real light, which I thought was kinda odd. Um, but it's actually because it's actually a lot thinner than what I'm used to using. I don't know if I don't know if you guys can see out there, but it's definitely a lot thinner. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the two 45 degree that I have left over. It's a little bit thicker since I'll be welding them. I prefer to work with a little bit more thicker material than a thinner one. Finished my first aluminum piping. As you guys can see, it's not the greatest. But at the same time, I'm starting to get my rhythm down so I can see some beads in there, which is great. That means I can at least weld some aluminum piping. Check it out after I cleaned up a little bit more. That looks pretty good to me. That's a nice improvement over, you know, the little blob that I used to do. So that's good. So that's one pipe. And here's the second piece. Now, if you guys notice, I did lay a bead at the very end there. That's just to prevent the coupler from slipping. Now in the past, because the edge wouldn't have this kind of beveled edge right here, I used to blow out intercooler couplers all the time at about 20 psi or sometimes even lower than that. It would just slip right out. So being able to weld aluminum, it's really nice because now I could do that and not have to worry about it. Okay, so that's two P's. All right, now I know we'll need a straight coupler and of course a 90 for the intercooler. Gonna go ahead and put that together and put it in there. It's 
ray out of the intercooler, a 90, then a 45, 45 right there, and then another 90 right here, and finally another 90 coupler. It's not too bad. I mean, it's pretty straightforward, straight from the intercooler and up. Clearance wise, there's plenty of clearance there. Now, I am planning to add like some sort of bracket from here to the block just to kind of solidify this. I can't do a bracket on the back and the front because the engine is mounted separately compared to the bumper. Alright, so I think I'm going to end the video here. I know it's a fairly short episode. I just wanted to get the intercooler piping mounted. Um, that way, when I start making the downpipe here, I know exactly where it's at and I know where I can go around. I couldn't do that before because I wasn't sure and I didn't want to make the intercooler or I didn't want to make the downpipe and not have room for the intercooler piping. Now if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.